And of course, now that we're here inside the freaking thing, if you don't want to go through the whole freaking dungeon again... Actually, I'm going to save right now while I'm at it. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I'm just like freaking... I don't even know anymore. I just don't even know anymore. I'm really have to gonna I'm really gonna have to up my game if I want to survive the rest of this game. So yeah, this is a one-way trip back to the entrance of the dungeon. So now we have to make our way all the way back to the Amarcian Enclave. So I think I'm gonna make my way there. If there's any uh, cutscenes and stuff that happen on my way there, then I'll show them. But I, for the most part, I think I'm gonna cut out what I'm gonna make as I make my way there. And I'm gonna show off the skip before I go to the Archive of Wisdom. Let's tell you. The Cree is core at the center of the world. Why would Richard go to such a place? Hey now, take it easy. Once we hit the Archive of Wisdom, all will be revealed. How are you doing, Sophie? You didn't seem like yourself when we saw Richard earlier. Is there anything you want to talk about? I'm fine. Please don't worry about me. I wanted to stop Richard because we're friends. Well, okay, if you say so. Come, let's get back to the Amarcian Enclave. Kurt, I wasted my life on half measures, but no more. I will fulfill your dying wish, I promise you. Alright, so I'm just gonna cut my way back to the Amarcian Enclave. If there's any other cutscenes that show up on the way there, then I will show them. But I'll see you guys back there. I can't lose. Actually, before we do that, four scale dragons, skinners. Skinner and butcher. Okay, get that face, and there we go. Okay, yeah, of course the horse scale dragon is gonna be quite a bit more difficult compared to the freaking enemies that are surrounding it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try getting them out of the way right now. Hey, there we go. Okay, Jesus, I was trying to do the freaking four CC art. Go. Sometimes I can't see. And that's how it works. <laughs> Honestly, that was a lot more easier to take down than Kurt himself. God damn it. I'm just gonna be on about that. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys back at the Amarcian Enclave. If you don't mind me asking, how long ago was it that you and Kurt started the revolution? It was approximately 20 years ago, and it wasn't just us. There was one more person involved in our plight as well. Really? Wait, wait. Was it a girl? Yes. Okay, tell us everything about her. Uh, Sharia? Uh, it's hard to say. It was a really long time ago. He has amnesia too? <laughs> Liar! I don't believe you for a second. I've never seen her show such interest in another man's past. You good with this, Asbel? Another man? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's what you get, Sharia. Trying to pry into that freaking past that we all saw. You know the past. Actually, no, you don't. It was all in my Alex's freaking head. Time sure flies. It feels like only yesterday that I made that friendship pact with Sophie and Richard. But we've all changed so much since then. I don't know what to believe anymore. Asbel? What are you doing out here? Sorry. I just needed some time to think about things. About King Richard? <laughs> you know me too well. Hey, remember the first time we met him? Of course. You broke into his room and then dragged him all over town. I was always surprised he enjoyed it as much as he did. He even wore that stupid disguise. <laughs> yeah, good times. Everyone was together back then, even Richard. But now he's all alone, with no one to support him. Sometimes I wonder if that loneliness drove him to his current state. I can't help but think if things could have been different. I was so caught up in my own training that I never thought to check up on any of you guys. If I had been able to notice Richard's troubles, maybe I could have stopped things from the way they are now. It's not too late. I don't know. Stubbornness is one of your strongest traits, you know. You're always pursuing some issue long after it's reached the point of annoyance. So if you believe he can still be saved, then don't give up. Just use the same persistence with him that you have shown me. Thanks, Hubert. That means a lot coming from you. 
I'm glad you're around. You always put things into perspective. Oh, come on. Besides, it's my job as the little brother to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> Ouch. If King Richard doesn't have anyone to trust, then at least he can go to you. You think so? You promised to believe in him. And you have an obligation to maintain that promise. I suppose it does. He's right. If I don't stop Richard, who will? I'm not going to give up. No matter what. Alright, fine. Huge thanks for the security pass for Ma. We're kind of done with it, so you can have it back. Oh, thanks, Pascal. You could keep it if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Huh? I'll come. Because my boyfriend finally proposed. Oh, God. This is important. Really? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> and we're just like, okay. Right, so I don't have to work anymore. Instead, I'm going to be the best wife ever. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, my feminist would like to speak with you then about that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's your choice, honestly. I'm so happy right now. I just want to spread this happiness to everyone. Really? I'll take some. Oh, Pascal, are you finally thinking of finding someone too? Alrighty, then I'll give you some happiness. Psst. Hey, Pascal, what do you think, who do you think is the cutest guy here? The cutest guy? Hmm. Oh, wait, don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm. This is quite a selection. This guy seems kind of mysterious. Which is hot. <laughs> Having a couple secrets can really make a man stand out. Of course, if he has too many secrets, the other ladies might want in on that action. I prefer someone like my fiancé. He's friendly, but not overly popular, you know? <laughs> Jeez, this one's young. And so shy, too. I'm not shy, madam. I'm simply embarrassed at the ridiculous turn this conversation has taken. Not very good at expressing his feelings, though. Might be a good fit for you, Pascal. You could use some order in your life. Though, personally, I can't stand men with short tempers like that. They need to be more kind of attentive, just like my fiance. <laughs> Guess that just leaves you over there. <laughs> Hold it, sister. This one's off limits. Really? Why? Because, well, because he's rude. That's why. And stubborn and selfish and totally oblivious. He has terrible fashion sense. Well, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. <laughs> so um, I don't think you want him at all. Um, I'm standing right here, Sherry. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. I guess there isn't a clear winner after all. But keep your chin up, Pascal. I'm sure you'll find someone handsome and devoted and charming someday. You know, like my fiancé. Ah, don't worry, I've already found my perfect person right here. What? What? Who? Where? <laughs> here. <laughs> Nobody makes my heart all go thumpa thumpa like she does. Right, Sophie? <laughs> uh, she doesn't think so. It seems you have a ways to go yet. Yeah, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'll, honestly, yeah, that was worth the trip back. Oh, look at this. This is a discovery I never found before. Pumpkins! Alrighty, cool. And my battery keeps free, or my controller keeps dying on me. God damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start cutting this soon. So, short and sweet. I bet pumpkins raised in the snow must be especially sweet. Hmm. Hubert, are you interested in pumpkins too? Do you want to take some with us? No, that's not necessary. Hmm. Hubert has been looking at me ever since he joined us. I wonder what he wants. Hey, is there something you want to ask me, Hubert? It's better to let it out than to bottle it up, you know? There is something that's concerned me for some time now, but... Hmm. How to put this? Go ahead, speak your mind. If I may be blunt, that skirt is far too short. Huh? My skirt? It is a distraction to everyone during combat. Do you understand how much of your thigh you're revealing? It's an affront to basic public decency. Hey, come on, Hubert. Stop staring at me like that. Well, then you should start dressing more appropriately. Honestly, I don't know who's in the wrong here. 
Okay, there, yeah, there's either one wrong and one right, but honestly, I'm not gonna make the decision. You guys make that for yourselves. Ooh, pretty feather. And my controller keeps freaking dying. God, freaking... Dude, I'm trying to let this charge properly. God damn it. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to cut it soon because my battery just is dead and I had to let it charge. Anyway, guys, my fault for not letting it charge. Hey, look at that. More treasure right here. A blue scarf. Alrighty, then. Actually, do we even have... Is that one better for Pascal? I don't even know. Nope. Not worth it. Alright. Now nah, I'll see you guys back at the Marcian Enclave. I don't think there's anything else extra. Oh look, if you went the way the where the blade horde boar came from, and my controller keeps freaking dying on me, you actually get some gold out of it. God damn it, controller, work with me here. God, you know what? Fuck it, fuck it. Disconnecting it because honestly, it's becoming unreliable at this point. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right, now I'll see you guys back at the Marcian Enclave for reals this time. So now we gotta go back into the Overseer's Quarters, and from there look for the Archive of Wisdom, aka the Infosphere. Honestly, that's all I'm gonna reference it as, because considering the way they described it, it pretty much kinda makes sense, only they're not gonna try to destroy the universe after they learn everything, so yeah. That's one little distinction from the freaking uh, Infosphere. One little tiny distinction. Anyway, there's the shiny thing that I missed out on before, Jack in the Pulpit Seeds. Okay then. Now, the thing is, though, where to go from here? Oh, wait, is it this? Because this is the Archive of Wisdom. What the hell? Oh, wait, where, where was the Overseer at the first time, then? Was it, like, somewhere in this direction? Where was that door from? What? Eh, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to make any sense of it. Let's just go into the Archive of Wisdom and learn what we can about this, uh, Las Lostalia. Yeah, I rode that backwards. I'm cool like that. <laughs> I imagined that a place called the Archive of Wisdom would be more like a library. Oh, we're chock full of wisdom around here. We just don't store it on paper. Oh my gosh, I never actually thought I'd come here. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, let's see what we can learn about this Lestalia. Hey, that looks like the machine where we saw Sophie's illusion. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, which means if I just twang this thingy here... <laughs> what is that? Is it... Real? I can see right through it. Okay, let me see. Lostalia, Lostalia. Got it! <laughs> okay, now let me just. Oh, that's crazy. So the Lestalia really does exist, but it's different from Valcanus Creus. How so? Well, it's kind of like the basis for Valcanus. Eleth is created in the Lestalia and then stored in Creus and Valcanus Creus. It also says that Valcanus exists to stabilize the Eleth produced by the Lestalia. Oh man, this is heavy. There's something slightly unnatural about the Lestalia and the Valcanus. It's like they were almost designed. I was totally just thinking that, Sharia. Great minds think alike. Okay, so that's what the Lost Talia is. And Richard will go there next? Oh yeah, in fact, I'm more sure of it now than ever. Richard didn't care about the Valcanus, he just wanted the Elith. What happens if he absorbs the Elith from the Lestalia? Hmm... Well, since there would be no more Elith, I think the world would just kind of... Die. That's crazy. I mean, that can't be what he's after. Could it? You tell me, there's three empty Valcanus Creus in yeah. If the Lestalia is at the core, we'll need a way underground. How do we get down there? Let me check. Aw, oh, bananas, not again. 
the records are so darn old. Come on, you. Okay, there we go. Looks like there's an entrance at a place called World's Eye. It's not far from Warrior's Roost, actually. Anything else useful? Hmm. Lambda. Lambda? There's that word again. What does it mean? Looks like it's the name of someone who went after the Valcanus a long time ago, just like Richard is doing now. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a poem or something here. A poem? The seed of destruction from Fodra falls to the land of three lights, sprouting its limbs to shroud the radiance. The savior of Fodra rises to wither the leaves of destruction, guarding the lights forevermore. Okay, so are we supposed to know what any of that means? Because I totally don't. Oh, crud. There's another blank spot here. Seed of destruction. Fodra. Where have I heard that? Sophie, what's wrong? Are you okay? I can almost remember. But my head hurts. You need some fresh air. Come on, let's go outside. I'll take care of Sophie. You guys stay here and learn what you can. Thanks, Sharia. This information is just too fragmented. I can only read little bits and pieces. I might be able to repair it or whatever, but it'll probably take some time. Do you know what happened to that Lambda guy after he attacked the Valcanus? It looks like someone jumped in and saved the day. I found a little bit about how he was stopped by something called Protos Haste. I'm guessing the seed of destruction in the poem is that Lambda dude. Which means Protos Haste would be... The savior of Fodra! It makes sense. For some reason, Richard is trying to recreate the events from that poem. I think we've learned enough. We should hurry to World's Eye. Agreed. I'll be damned if I'm gonna let this world die. We'll stop Richard this time. We have to.